All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome to another Feed the Beast Minecraft. And as you could hear, there were some skeletons dying outside, which means it's morning, and we can once again safely move around outside. Not that, you know, that really matters too much for me, because I can fly. Because flying is wonderful. But yes, today I said that we were going to build an industrial electrolyzer, and we will. But first, I wanted to update you on... Oh. Oh yeah, jetpack is charging. <laughs> it would help to pull it from the charger. Oh well, yes, which as you can see, we do have a lot of power getting made. I'm very pleased with our energy situation at the moment. Let's uh, flow over here real quick. And as you can clearly see, we have five solar panels here now which is wonderful they are all producing a good deal of energy and we have our lovely windmills hooked up to low voltage cabling up there i have still yet to look into the high voltage cabling for down here so it's still just glass fiber cable i, I just haven't had a chance to look into the high voltage cabling quite yet Though I do want to try it out, see how it works, so we will explore that in another episode. And, of course, the giant pits o doom that uh, our wonderful turtles have been making. Oh yes, today, industrial electrolyzer. We are going to make one, and we're going to put it down here, because if I'm remembering correctly, it does need a 128 line, and I've got, as I showed you last time, an MFE under the floor here. So, let's grab some of the things we're going to need for it. Uh, I didn't remember the recipe, so I was prepping before I got on here today to record. I know I don't need all of this stuff, but it's good to have it. And we'll just take a half stack. I think I only need six redstone, but nonetheless. And yes, excellent and or refined iron right here. So, first things first, we need three machine blocks. I probably should have made these before coming on, but I had the iron sm smelting, so we have that. We also need iron fences, and that takes reinforced iron, just like you would, and in the pattern, just like you would build a normal fence. Let us grab those. And when building the industrial electrolyzer, it requires three separate machines brought together. An extractor, which we have built previously, an electrolyzer, and a magnetizer. So we are going to just quickly build these three real quick. Now, if I'm remembering the extractor, oh, nope, not that one, that one, and that. Um... There we go. Extractor. Now, the magnetizer, I'm pretty sure, is built like this. Yes, there we go. And I'll be honest, I've never actually... I don't know if the magnetizer has other uses besides as a component for the industrial electrolyzer. So I've never actually placed one <laughs> without it being a part of the industrial electrolyzer. And then the last bit is just a plain old electrolyzer, which oh, I'm forgetting how to build now. Empty cells, circuit, and copper wire. Excellent. And that's incorrect. What did I do? Ah, reversed. All right, and that should go in the middle, that up top, that there. I know this requires advanced circuits. And then four refined iron around there. Excellent. Yes, and that, yeah, that did say 128 in. So that is definitely what we're going to go with for this particular machine. And boop. Here we go. Now... Glass fiber. There we go. Let's just uh, chop a hole in the floor here. And. Boop. Boop. 
and boop. That should be completely connected. And we'll just replace this hole in the floor here. And there we go. And now what I am most interested in for this is I need... Oh, it's, it's macerating upstairs. I need titanium. So let's pick up this bauxite. I threw some of the bauxite ore that I have into the macerator. And it is chugging away at grinding this up. I'm going to need more cells. Nope, this one. Let's just put those six back in. And no, we're not going to electrolyze those. We're going to electrolyze this. And with this, we should get oxygen cells, hydrogen cells, aluminium, and titanium. And the titanium and the aluminium I am most interested in, because of course, the titanium we need for building a quarry. Which, as I mentioned, I believe last episode, I am going to go forward with building one. Because, yeah, I've, I've never messed around with them a whole lot, and it, it'd probably be interesting. And then the aluminium I'm interested in because I love water wheels. They're probably my favorite form of power generation, even though they're not exactly great. <laughs> but I, I love them for some reason. I, I honestly don't know why. They, they just make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, so that sh will give us the resources to build both of those objects, the quarry and the wind, not windmills, water wheels that I want to make. But one thing before we build the quarry, and I'm going to get started on it today here. And ooh, I'm, I am actually running a little low on wood. I will have to go get some after the episode. But I think I should be able to build at least one with, with the wood I have. As with the quarry, we uh, are going to have a lot of additional resources. We already have a ton of stuff from these already. I'm, yeah, these are filled up quite nicely and yeah, it goes all the way down. So we definitely need more storage space. So what I'm thinking of doing is down the whole O Doom over there, uh, over by where my turtle quarry is, I'm going to build some sort of a warehouse, and I am going to do it with barrels, which, if I'm remembering correctly, is not that. Okay, let's look up the recipe. I'm suddenly forgetting how to make them. Ah, okay, just... or wait... Oh, no, we actually need logs for it. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to go chop down a tree real quick. Give me a moment. Okay, it took me a little bit longer to chop down a redwood than I originally planned, but then again, they are giant trees. I do love them, though. Yeah, that's the one down there that I destroyed. As you can see, it's slowly degrading. Hmm, probably should have gotten that one. I don't know why, it just seems out of place. It is kind of just sitting right there with chickens. But yes, we have redwood and I'm... Ooh, creeper. I don't like you. Let's, let's stay away from the windows. It's a bad neighborhood. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the redwood works just as well as any other. Yes, excellent. Well, we might as well build the full six for now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, nope, miscounted there. There we go. Now, the barrels are wonderful, wonderful things. We're just going to plop one down here real quick. So what you can do is put into it a whole stack of items. And this barrel will only be good for that singular stack, but nonetheless. So yeah, whatever you have in your hand, you can click and it will go in. So I can't then put bread in here. Nope, it's only good for the redwood. But the fun part is, let's knock those out here. I believe if you double click, 
yep, it puts in your entire inventory of whatever you did the double click with into that. And yeah, it can hold 64 stacks of 64, I believe is the number. So with a good number of these, you can store just massive amounts. And of course, as you can see, you can click it and it will tell you there. You can shift click just to knock out one at a time or just right click and get out a whole stack. Oh, thought that fell down there. Well, let's just put you back. There we go. And yeah, as you can see, the redwood is entirely gone from my inventory here. But I actually need those back because I'm going to end up building a lot more of these and building a warehouse somewhere. Hmm, let's just come down here real quick. Ow, why'd that hurt me? Hmm. I'm kind of debating between actually digging out something, like around here, or, ooh, actually, I can use this wonderful mistake. <laughs> when I first set up these turtles, uh, instead of making them do 10 by 10, I accidentally had them do 20 by 20. <laughs> and two of the turtles ate two of the other turtles. And so I had to break them all and redo it. But this may actually serve as a good warehouse space for us. And it's in a good position to get all of this stuff over here. Hmm. Yeah, I think that is what I may do, but I will make sure I dig all this stuff out off of camera and get it all set up. Though I will do some of the setup on the next episode because I want to use piping to get all the stuff from those chests down here. And once we do build a quarry, I'm actually thinking of building the quarry off of these initial turtle quarries. So have it start here and go back much, much farther than my turtles did and then do the same thing over here so that this warehouse area will still be useful. But that is for next episode. So I do hope that you all enjoyed this one and liked learning a little bit a little bit about my industrial electrolyzer that is now up and running. And the barrels which I shall use to build my warehouse actually then. Yeah. Why go back through the portal over there? Well here we go. And yes, as you can see we are already got plenty... Ooh, power's running out on this already. Lovely. Uh, I need to work on that a bit more. But yes, this aluminium is good because we will be able to get more power up and going. That'll be on yet another episode. So yes, again, I hope you all enjoyed and that you come back for the next. And have a good one.